What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. It is 6pm on Wednesday. There is slash should be a brand new team of the week and hopefully uh, some new objectives to go as well. The new Silver Stars and the new uh, Silver Beasts are there. I like that again. Wow, Moise Keane, they gave it to him. Does that mean Mbappe has got a team of the week? Moise Keane's silver card is very nice. Win three matches in uh, Silver Lounge, score eight goals and assist six goals this time around. So it's a little bit easier on the goals and only three wins required uh, for a Moise Keane who looks very good. We'll have to take a look at his in-game stats. And then the Silver Beasts score 10 goals with a Silver Team of the Week player in squad battles or rivals. Um, and of course, now you have the German from last week, uh, Vidra from the week before and now Moise Keane as well. Uh, silver Bullet has assist eight goals with silver players in squad battles or rivals. Win five matches with 11 silver players on squad battles or rivals. Minimum professional difficulty. It's not too difficult. And then score three goals with a silver player in three separate squad battles matches on professional or rivals. And you get uh, 475 rated player packs and a rare mega pack. And once again, I like both of these. I think these are good. Um, I think EA are doing a, a fairly good job on that kind of uh, stuff. Is there anything new for Milestone content? No, there is not. And is there anything for SBCs today? Uh, do we have any any big SBCs out? But there's still no League SBCs, which is quite sad. There's an Aki Williams still there, worth doing. Malon, Kramaric and Niane. Marky matchups. Oh, here we go. So UEFA Marky matchups. That was there from yesterday, actually, and I think I missed that one. Which means there's just a new one, goal scorer in Munich. A rare mixed players pack. And it is going to take silver minimum, six golds, one rare, one French, four clubs, 85 chemistry. If you're anything like me and you've got a club full of untradeable gold cards, you're probably better just doing all golds. Because silvers are sometimes and quite often because of SBCs like this, more expensive than your, than your rare and common golds. So six golds. All clubs, one French player. So we could just go to the French League. Let's put untradeable on. Um, let's go to the French League. And let's just take... Uh, so we've got no untradeable goalkeepers. That's interesting. Um, oh, we do have an untradeable goalkeeper. Untradeable on. Let me just get... So I only have one untradeable player from the French League. That's fair enough. Um, but we'll be able to just fill up the rest of it with uh, a very, very, very cheap common... French League uh, set up. And this gets, I think it was another untradeable reward, which I'm not pleased with. EA have done a, a job again this year of giving away way too many untradeable rewards. But typically speaking, this whole SBC is very cheap, very, very affordable. Um, we do need one rare player and uh, gives a pack that contains all right players. So let's put Benedetto in there. A rare mixed players pack. It's not the, it's not the best. It's just not the worst. And then, of course, we'll also have a brand new uh, Team of the Week today. Maybe we can pack a Team of the Week out of this pack. I don't know. Let's see what we've got. Doesn't look like there's any promo packs there either, unless gold packs contain something. What are we going to have out of this? Obviously, it's a rare player. It's not a walkout. It's not a board. And it's not a not a um, Libertadores either, which means there is literally nothing in this pack. Yeah, there is literally nothing in this pack. So... Uh, let us, uh, other than the Silver Stars objective, where we'll have a look at Moyes Keane. There are some jumbo premiums, I suppose. Um, other than that, we'll go and have a look at Team of the Week, and that will literally be it. Um, and hopefully, EA haven't created this Team of the Week again, where there's just two or three quality players that are going to be good for people's rewards. Hopefully, this will be a Team of the Week that contains multiple players that are going to be good. Let's go to the, um, the new item section and have a look. We have got news... Item releases. Let me get that up. And then how do we go to like number two? Can we not see team of the week from here? There. Oh, I don't think the team of the week's there. So we're gonna have to go into footbin to have a look at look at the uh, team of the week. <coughs> um new current team of the week. Okay, so that's actually the old team of the week. New players. Okay, so there's a Hero Triore. I don't think the new team of the week's out yet. Use right stick. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, is that the new team of the week there? 
Oh, that is a new team of the week there. Anyway, here we go. We've got it up on the, on the console. Um, so there's an 89 Joshua Kimmich, which he, he's decent. He is decent. Um, yeah, we can go. Let's let's go to squad battles featured because we can actually have a look at the uh, look at the in-game stats. Then the only player we won't be able to look at is Moyes Keane. Um, and then we can go ahead and uh, have a look at all the in-game stats of all the players that are of any interest. Yeah, the new team of the week should be there now. Boom. There we go. Team of the week. Let's have a look at this team of the week. Like that. Like that. Um, so there's a there's a Danny Ings. Three-star, four-star, high, high work rates. Good shooting. Decent dribbling, decent physicals, probably a bit too slow. Uh, you've got a Wilf Zaha. Now, he's obviously going to be very good because he's got five-star skill moves. His dribbling is ridiculous. His physicals are okay. His pace is ridiculous. That's a very nice card with 84 shot power as well. A Deadeye Chem style on uh, Zaha or the finisher, which boosts the dribbling and shooting. He is going to be extremely good and probably extremely expensive. If you get him in rewards, that's a win. Um, you've got Belotti, of course, with a five-star weak foot, uh, three-star skill moves. Dribbling is a bit meh. It's on, you know, high 70s. Physical is really nice. Shooting, really nice. And pace, again, not quite good enough. Luis Alberto, decent-ish, Sam. His aggression is terrible. His dribbling is okay. His passing is okay. Shooting is okay. He's, and I know he's like four-star skill moves, but he's just one of those players that just doesn't work in this game. And I think it's because of his strength and aggression. Joshua Kimmich looks decent. As far as the CDM goes... Um, physical defending, dribbling, and passing are brilliant. Shooting from range is good. Pace is uh, quite nice. You know, he would actually make a fantastic CDM. And then 85 Valverde. This is going to be another one that you absolutely want out of your rewards. Good pace. Very good pace for a centre mid. Extremely good passing. You know, his long pass, short pass, and vision are great. His dribbling's good. His defending is good. His physicals are good. Like, that is that is a really nice card. Three-star, three-star, and high, high work rates. And then uh, David Silva. Just too slow. Um, just too slow. Nobody really cares about David Silva. You've got the left-back version of Guerrero now. I personally wouldn't go with him. You know, a bit too slow. Would get 95 acceleration, 80 sprint speed. Uh, no strength, no aggression. Not interested in him personally. And then another one that would be great is Joe Gomez. Great pace, great defending, great physicals. Obviously, his gold card is very overpowered as it is. Um, Ricardo S. Gallo. Uh, just a bit of a mere player. And Lopez, nobody really cares about. And then on the bench... Arnold looks okay, fairly well balanced. Jao Pedro looks okay. As a, as a cam, fairly well balanced with four-star, four-star. This is the next guy that you are going to want. Paulinho, four-star, four-star, high, high work rates, perfect links to that Anderson Talisca, has ridiculous in-game stats. His physicals, his defending, and his dribbling are brilliant. His passing's good. His shooting is brilliant. His pace is good. With a shadow chem style as a box-to-box, -box, he will be absolutely phenomenal. Um, this guy's got good pace and shooting, good physicals, good jumping. It's just his dribbling is terrible. Um, Bamford's there, terrible. Um, Sergio Santos, great pace, but otherwise not great stats. And then Triore from Ajax. He's got a hero card, but it's just not a very good card, is it? This is one of those cards where it's like, yeah, you just give him something that makes him like worthwhile, you know? Um, so in terms of players that are worth it out of your rewards, Paulinho would be great. Joe Gomez would be great. Valverde, Zaha, and Kimmich would be great. Everybody else is a basically a meh card that nobody cares about. And then last but not least, we'll go and take a look at uh, Moise Keane's in-game stats. Because I think he's actually got potential of being quite good. So they've given him 6 pace, 8 shooting, 7 physical, 10 passing, 6 dribbling. They've actually made him really, really nice. He's not the fastest in the world, um, but for a silver card with a finisher, they're ridiculous stats. With a hunter, they're ridiculous stats. His dribbling's good, not great. His physicals are good, not great. His passing is terrible, but his pace and shooting is very, very good. For another free card, for a silver card, I don't mind that at all. But in general, I do think that once again, with only a handful at most of cards that are any use to anybody, you know, I think if you're looking at the top three, you're looking at Gomez. Valverde Zaha. Paulinho is in there just because of how good he is, even though it's fairly difficult to link. And Kimmich probably won't be people's go-to. Everything else is useless. And once again, um, foot champs, 
comes out as fairly useless yet again. Um, but that, guys, is going to be the end of the video for today. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.